Hello, hello again, everyone. It's your favorite San Antonio realtor. I'm Stephanie Arneal, and I'm back. Today we are in this gorgeous, exclusive community of Inwood. Um, we are on a cul-de-sac lot. We're backing up to a green belt. This four bed, three and a half bath home is 3,000 square feet and is just over $700,000. Um, the amenities in this neighborhood are amazing. It's got a three car garage, it's brick, it's on a gorgeous lot, big lot with lots of good big trees um, in a well-developed exclusive neighborhood. All right, let's move inside and check out. You can see the front door. I love that front door and I love the kind of wavy glass look. I don't know why. Um, but then on either side of the door, you've got the living and dining room. This is technically the formal dining with that chandelier, but clearly they've got it set up just as a you know, sitting room. And notice the upgraded uh, plantation shutters also along the front of the house. Um, this is on the living side. It's got that built-in bookshelf um, set up like an office. And then moving back into the house, here's our living room. You can see how it's all one big open floor plan too. And this house was built back in 1994. So it, I'm guessing there's probably been some updates done to make it so open because they weren't really open floor plans like this the same way then. Um, notice the high ceilings. You can see the French doors back to the backyard. You've got the powder room off to the left, kitchen to the right. Here's the powder room, the half bath. I'm not gonna spend long here because that wallpaper is intense. All right, here's the primary bedroom. You've got a huge bedroom area and an extended seating area beyond that with lots of windows and natural light into the backyard. And that bedroom is 26 by 14 feet. It's huge. And then you go into this primary bath with the his and hers vanities and with the, that upgraded granite countertop. Lots of space in here as well. A huge oversized shower, good deep soaking jutted tub and a big old walk-in closet. Yes, I'm a Texas girl, I'll say big old. <laughs> um, you can see it's got all kinds of space for storage. Okay, and then moving back out, we've got the kitchen with those same granite countertops, built-in oven and microwave, electric cooking in this neighborhood. And I love the light-colored cabinets they chose and the mix of glass front versus regular cabinet front. Because I'm, I'm a person who I don't want to, you to be able to see into all my cabinets because I can't keep them that clean but a few of them it's nice <laughs> you got a bar top for some stools if you wanted them and then you have this eat-in uh, breakfast area uh, bay window style lots of windows the the theme of this house is natural light for sure and also the architectural designs in the ceilings and archways into the different rooms and stuff so this sitting area is off the kitchen if you'll notice you've got the bar to the right this extra living area off to the left with uh, the fireplace. Um, it just creates so much extra living space. Now let's go through our run. It's the secondary bath, secondary bedrooms. It's the kind of stamp and repeat. Um, I'm not spending much time here because we all know what these look like, guys. <laughs> it's the same thing over and over, right? And here's your laundry room. They do have a big utility sink in there. And I love that little circular window. I think it's cute. A cute little architectural feature. All right, here's the back of the house. You will notice again, and I may have forgot to say it, it is brick on all sides. So check check out this all brick back patio, huge living space, covered, lots of um, room to spread out and create outdoor living space, and a built-in hot tub. It is not a whole pool, but it is just a little built-in jacuzzi hot tub with a huge grass, grassy area, yard area back beyond that. Um, so I, I don't know. I have mixed emotions on just the hot tub without the pool. I don't know the choice to put it in when it was done. I think I would hang out in there, but tell me what y'all think of the choice to do a hot tub without a pool built in. Um, anyway, I, I just love this house. I think it's beautiful all, on all sides. I think it's in a highly desirable, exclusive community. Comment below, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, hopefully soon I'll be able to start getting back out to these houses in person. And if I can, I might go to this one um, personally and walk it and show you another video. Um, but look at all those trees. Oh, my God. All right. But as always, my name is Stephanie Arneal. I'm your favorite San Antonio realtor. Thank you so much for coming along with me, and I will see you on the next one.